Hey dudes, Brandon here, back at it with the three easy tips to help you build, and in this episode is gonna be a bigger chest, that front shield. We got a lot of comments for this one, so stay tuned, because we're about to show you how it's done. Tip number one, it's gonna be packing those shoulders nice and tight, that way you're gonna help isolate that chest a little bit more. Now I say isolate, not meaning that this is an isolation exercise, because this is gonna be a compound, but you're gonna help work that chest and concentrate on that chest by pulling those shoulders back and keeping them nice and tight, that way that chest is gonna do most of the work and keep it out of the front delve as much as you can. So what you wanna do is lie on that bench and you're gonna pull those shoulders back. So what you wanna do is really shrug those shoulders to squeeze those traps. So when you get that bar up here, that chest is gonna be arched up just like so. So that way that chest is nice and high, bring it down nice and slow, keeping those shoulders back and press. So you get a nice contraction in that chest rather than rolling those shoulders forward, pressing with those front delts. The chest is deactivated then and it's not getting the full benefit of the exercise. So what you wanna do, really pull those shoulders back. It's gonna bring that chest up. You can get more push out of that chest and that's gonna be helping you develop that buff dude physique. Tip number two, time under tension. So what happens dudes is sometimes when you complete the range of motion in certain exercises, when you reach the top, it's actually gonna deactivate the muscle because there's not really any tension on the muscle itself anymore because it's not going through any kind of motion or contraction. So what you wanna do is stop just before the muscle stops working and come right back down to the stretch position. So in this, for instance, we're gonna do incline dumbbell flies. So you're gonna lean back. So in this position right here, it's gonna be front delt and the chest is slightly activated, but there's not really a lot of stress on it. But once you start pulling it wide into the fly position, it's contracting and controlling that weight on the way down and be pulling it to the top position. Right before you reach the very top, you're gonna to be stopping and coming right back down to get that fluid motion and keeping that tension on the chest throughout that whole range of motion and exercise for the complete duration. It's gonna get more work and it's gonna put more stress on the muscle itself. So you're not gonna come all the way to the top clinking the dumbbells, because right now my chest is resting, not really getting a lot of work. So you're stopping before that and coming right back down to the stretch position to get the full benefit of the exercise, or even more so because you're keeping that tension on the chest. And this goes for bench press, too, so what happens is when you complete the range of motion and lock out, the triceps are gonna be activated, a little bit of front delt, the chest isn't really any tension on it because that joint's locked and everything else is flexed. But once you start bending the elbows, immediately the chest has to activate to control the weight, and that's what you wanna do for the complete duration of the exercise itself. Yeah. Tip number three, importance of the triceps. So what happens in any kind of pressing motion, the triceps are gonna be a pretty big secondary muscle group. So what happens is if you're hitting that bench press pretty hard and you're trying to go up in weight, building that strength, and you hit a plateau, it might not be your chest, it might be your triceps. So what you wanna do is try to isolate those triceps, build some size and strength in those, because that's gonna help you develop even more of a bench press and even more of a chest because you can do more pushing with it, put a little bit more weight on it, and those triceps aren't gonna hold you back. Some exercises you can do is either gonna be skull crushers, rope extensions, close grip bench for a nice compound exercise to help concentrate a little bit more on the triceps, dips, the list goes on. So don't ignore those triceps when you want to build that front shield in that buff dude sized chest. All right, that wraps up the three easy tips for building that buff dude sized chest. Make sure to check out our other tip videos covering a lot of other tips that are gonna transfer right into each other, such as tempo, range of motion, variety, the list goes on. Thanks dudes for all the suggestions. Keep them coming, because that's what fuels our future videos. Stay buff, dudes.